Warren Powers passed away at age 80 today. The Mizzou football coach was beloved in our town where he lived for about 40 years. I interviewed him quite a few times over the years, and with the help of editor Bill Bennett, we take a look at his captivating life. This was a football coach. All he did at Mizzou is win. Seven seasons, five bowl games. Do you still diagram a play to win a football game? <laughs> I would hope so if I had a right quarterback. <laughs> Powers is football. He played and coached at Nebraska and won two national championships. He played six years for the Raiders and started in Super Bowl II. His coach you may recognize, Al Davis. The very first game Warren Powers ever coached at Mizzou was a 3 to nothing win against the defending national champion Notre Dame at South Bend. It was unreal. I mean, nobody could believe it. Shockingly, Mizzou made one of their worst decisions when they fired Warren. They wouldn't go to another bowl game in 13 years. Nice and rainy today, but we've got to get our walk in for sure. <laughs> Powers would never be a head coach again, but he was the proud husband for 50 years to the love of his life, wife Linda. And 10 years ago, when Warren was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was Linda who became an Alzheimer's spokesperson and most importantly, an advocate for her husband. It's hard to go public, but I think that it's really important. Get emotional. Um, it's really important, Frank, that everybody know what's going on not only with Warren, but other people. Could use some sunshine. Absolutely. What's he meant to you? What has he meant to me? My life, you know? Linda died a few months ago of brain cancer, and now the two are together again, without cancer and without Alzheimer's. And I have to tell you, uh, I interviewed him quite a few times after he had Alzheimer's, and the amazing thing is his football recall he could diagram a play. He could remember a big upset victory. When you started to talk football, you could see the light in his eye. You could see that he remembered it. And uh, he was really a, a classy guy and a great gentleman, and, uh, and we're going to miss them both. And I think a testament to him, the players who played for him love him, love him still. Absolutely. Uh, we talked with Howard Richards today, uh, the All-American, who said that he was you know, one of the most important influences in his life.